Hey beautiful peaks, my name's John. Welcome to my channel. Look what we have. Look where we are. We're at the speed run area. This should be exciting. Yes, this once used to be nitro, now it's electric. I'm very happy with the way it's turned out. I'm not worried about the electronics. I'm not worried about the drivetrain. The only thing that's concerning me is the glue on the wheels. I've used the glue that I've used all the way along, but for some reason, I just think that that could be a weak point today. Now, I need to update you on a couple of things. I put some of this uh, tape on the inside. This is deliberate. So if I do crash, maybe it won't completely shatter. I think it will. Uh, also, underneath here as you can see there was a repair that had to be done that was to no wait underneath there there was a repair that was done to hold the front wing in and last but not least that here is just to hold the rear wing because it was a little bit too flexible so if you just have a quick look at the car and then we will get this up and running. We have no idea what speed it's gonna do, but the GPS meter is here, and currently we are just running the 2S battery. It can take 4S, but let's start with 2S just now. So, this is the electric Red Bull RB7 F1 car, and you're watching John Robinson RC. Okay, ladies and gents, let's see if it blows up instantly, shall we? What's making that happen though? Uh, honestly, I don't know. The tires do not seem up for purpose, unfortunately. That's as soon as I go to sort of 25% throttle, it's spinning. That's very bad. Uh, okay, well, update. It's not as good as what I was hoping. As soon as I'm getting to 25% throttle, that's going at the main or the top speed that we've had so far. It's just sliding, the back end's just going around and I have the gyro set to around 50%. If I have it set higher than that, the car starts to wiggle. So I can't adjust that, but the gyro, the whole point of it is that as the car slides, it's supposed to catch the side and it's just not doing it. Hello. Um, and now, I'm gonna have to get some foams for this because the tires are just too slippery I mean we will continue to run here but we've just walked down because I lost all control but now I have control back and this is a 8.1 volts it started at 9 and it can go down to 6 before it stops working so why that has stopped working I do not know I think that battery was brand new. I could find it hard to believe it's empty already, but um, right, well, put another battery in and see what it can do, I suppose. Okay, ladies and gents, on that very short 2S run, we got 56 kilometers per hour. Uh, as a backup, we've changed to brand new batteries, non-rechargeable in this now, and it's up at 9.4 volts. So hopefully that'll give me the confidence to drive faster. I have changed it to the 3S battery, which I know is a bit silly because it's gonna give more power, but it's also gonna give more weight. So I'm hoping that's gonna help with the traction issue. And let's just see how we get on. I don't know. I'm. 
I, I've pretty much figured I was going to have to get foam tires for it due to the power but I did a search on the internet and at 90 millimeters diameter 17 millimeter um, hexes I couldn't find any foams so if you have any tips if you know where to get some if you know somebody that wants to sponsor the channel because they're blimmin expensive then please write in the comments below really really important and helpful so thank you so much right let's turn it on and see That was 10% throttle. can't even accelerate now. Right, let's try the gyro setting, see if I increase it a little bit, if it helps. can't get the power on. I have to be honest with you at this point, I was just getting so frustrated at not being able to accelerate. Uh, in my head, because I'm a Formula One fan, my theory was the faster that I can get it, the more the aerodynamics would help and keep the car in a straight line. Uh, and it just didn't happen. You'll hear by my voice, I'm getting more and more frustrated on the day. This, this is impossible. <laughs> Try not to hit the wife. I think I'm gonna have to call it Colin, don't you? Yeah. One more ch go. This is so frustrating! It can't be out of power already, surely not. Oh, tires are warm. Right, 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 right. Let me just turn this off. So, ladies and gents. Do I look disappointed? I really do feel disappointed. I so expected this to go up to over 100 kilometers an hour very, very quickly. But as you saw, it's just impossible possible to control with these tires uh, I don't I don't 
It's like the tyres are not even designed for purpose, like they, they wouldn't even work. I, I understand that with the Nitro vehicle, the power delivery is a lot easier, a lot smoother, so maybe, you know, you'll get up. But even when we're doing a, what, 50, 60 kilometres an hour, there's no grip there and that's what was happening oh, I was just going a little bit faster and then the back end just swung around I even turned the gyro up to uh, I think 70 80 percent by the end and it still wasn't catching the slides so I don't know what to do concerning that but we definitely have to get foams for this so please as I said in the comments below if you know where to get 90 millimeter 17 millimeter hex foams from I would be very appreciative of that but it has to be 17 millimeter at the rear and at the front because there's no drive shaft, that's just a normal two bearing wheel, just to let you know. So thank you so much for watching. I apologize profusely for not being able to get it up to a faster speed than that. But if I do go any faster and seeing how long it was sliding, I risk hitting somebody, something or damaging the car, which I'm not willing on doing. Underneath though, that's interesting. I was wondering how low it was gonna go and you can see that there's some scratches along there. So we have some battle wounds, ladies and gents. So it's a good start. And I have to say, no matter what speed it was doing, it looked pretty good, didn't it? It looks really good, actually. I'm not a fan of Red Bull, but those Red Bull fans, no need to unsubscribe. I bought it because it just looks good. All right, so no need to unsubscribe. Uh, it, it, it's one of the projects that I'm most happy with, most um, proud of actually, because you know it took some some engineering to get it up and running. Can't do anything about the tires though, can I? So thank you so much for watching. I will keep you all updated on the progress. I don't think I need to do anything with the drivetrain. I will fiddle with the controller and see whether I can get a, a smoother power delivery off that because I know it's a smart controller. It's just not a smart owner, that's the problem. Uh, so I'll keep you all updated with that, but I've got, to, I've got to find the solution for the tires. So if you know, let me know. Have a great day. Take care of yourself, stay safe. Bye-bye. Oh, hit subscribe and like.